musicals, a comedy, and some serious drama. You'll find it all on stage in Pittsburgh this fall. Here with his monthly round of, uh, of uh, reviews and previews is Post-Gazette senior theater critic Chris Rossin. Welcome, Chris. And you say this is one of those seam weeks. What does that mean That's exactly? That's right. It, actually, a couple of shows just closed, and the fall shows are just starting. So I don't have any reviews today. It's just previews. Just previews. Okay. Uh, we have three plays and three musicals. Oh, starting good. up and the first one is I'm gonna uh, I think we have some video on this I'm going to try to recite the title which will be <laughs> my entire uh, speech about this show a funny it, thing happened a funny thing happened <laughs> on the way to the uh, gynecologic oncology unit at Memorial, Memorial Sloan, Sloan Kettering uh, cancer cancer center. center of New York City. There we go. We actually had them on yesterday. And yeah, it sounds I, like it's going to be so funny. Well, apparently it is. It's a meet cute kind of show. This mm -hmm. uh, stand up comedian uh, meets this nerdy guy in this, the room where their mothers are being treated for cancer, mm -hmm. if you can imagine. And um, yeah. people have enjoyed the show. It, it's written by Hallie Pfeiffer, who is the daughter of Jules Pfeiffer, the famous cartoonist. And it's clearly a somewhat autobiographical story because her mother uh, is going to be in town doing a one-night show at City Theatre talking about her experience of surviving cancer. So we know that the story has a happy ending, at least in that way. Um, uh, but I, you know, I, it's, a, it's, it's a strange concept to me, so I can't wait. Yeah. Show me. I haven't seen the show yet. I'm really looking forward to it. We enjoyed talking with them yesterday, and we do know that it is adults only, very adult uh, friendly themes. Ah, so. well, I'm glad you told me that. <laughs> I'll, I'll, be, I'll, I'll take cotton with for my years. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Equus is next. And now, this is Equus is a October very famous 29th. play. That is something that I have seen, and mm -hmm. it's the way that the Pittsburgh Public Theater is starting. It's season, the last season of Ted Pappas running the theater, and he's directing Equus. Uh, it's the play based on a true story of a boy in England who had been found putting out the eyes of some horses, and he was turned over to the care of a psychiatrist who is really the central character in the play. Here you see the way they represent the wow. horses on stage. There are people inside these structures, but Dr. Dysart, who was played by Anthony Hopkins in England and on Broadway, and then played by Richard Burton in the movie, and has been played by just about everybody, Leonard Nimoy, Anthony uh, Perkins. I mean, I think everybody in the world except maybe, um, no, probably not except for anybody, um, has played the part. It's a good, it's a good show. It's mm -hmm. about the contrast between a kind of cold Christianity and a passionate paganism. Interesting. Okay, so one that starts tomorrow and runs through the beginning of November is East Texas Hot Links. And I you know, said this I'm, could be a possible sleeper. Uh, it's a sleeper because it's a small theater and a lot of people haven't been there. The Pittsburgh Playwrights Theater on Liberty Avenue downtown. And if you've never been there, this is a good occasion to go. Um, it's a 100, 120-seat theater. And it's got a wonderful uh, cast of local black actors. It's written by, here, here you see, just this picture makes me want to see the play. Yeah. And it's set in 1955, era of segregation down south in a small bar, which is run by the woman in front. And that's Eugene Lee, uh, who wrote it, who we know in Pittsburgh as a performer. He was Performer of the Year last year. A couple of years ago, he played August Wilson mm -hmm. in a one-man play at the Public Theater. But this is a play that he wrote 20 years ago, which was nominated, I think he came in second for the Pulitzer Prize. Wow. And here is Monte Russell, uh, also best known as an actor. Uh, he was in that production in New York 20 years ago, and now he's making his debut as a stage director. He's from Pittsburgh. He's come back to direct this play that he's familiar with on stage. I think it's something people should look at. Definitely. Sounds good. And um, this is a big one, of course, this well, musical, School of Rock, the right. musical. So we have three musicals, big, medium size, and small. Okay. School of Rock is a Broadway tour. It's right. based on the movie. Uh, it's we've got the oddest thing. It was converted to the stage with um, music, additional music by Andrew Lloyd Webber mm -hmm. and a book by Julian Fellows, who wrote Downton Abbey, if you can imagine those two guys getting Coming together, together right. on a musical about um, a teacher in a high school who starts a rock band. Sounds cool.
Uh, we have over at Point Park, Kiss Me Kate. Yes, and you don't want to um, look down on this because it's a student show. Uh, Kiss Me Kate is a, this fabulous Cole Porter musical from the 40s, and the Point Park students are, you know, pre-professional, very slick. Right. Looking forward to that a lot. And what about HMS Pinafore? HMS Pinafore is my little musical. It's by the Savoyards, who are a semi-pro community group. It's Gilbert and Sullivan from the 1870s, you know, all about that ship and the ruler of the Queen's Navy. I wish I could sing. I would sing some of it for you right now. And then finally, <laughs> off the record. one more show, yeah. off the record. Coming up. Two weeks from today, October 12th, at the Byam Theater, raise money for the food bank and laugh at the follies of Pittsburgh. It was a great show when I attended last year. And Ken Rice is always so wonderful in the very beginning. He it's starts certainly us something. Off. Yeah. Certainly and we have the mayor see. answering up right away, too. Awesome. Very good stuff. And again, that's October 12th. A lot to see this upcoming season. Chris Rawson, senior theater critic for the Pittsburgh Post Gazette and regular PTL contributor. Thank you just so much Thanks, for being Heather. here this morning. Thanks, Heather. Thanks a lot. All right, well,